quality rather than um, uh, nature. It's not. So, all right, let me stop this. Um, the premise of this video is showing that um, William Bell doesn't have a clue who the Gentiles are, and he stuck a bullet in himself when he chose to go to Acts 15, which we're about to see. What did, and I'm taking sort of the long route to answer this question, I, but I wanted you to see that background as a part of it. So if that's your background, then you could see that there is somewhat of a mystery just within that because um, what Paul says is in Ephesians 3 is that the Gentiles would be of the same body and partakers of the same promise in Christ by the gospel, which indicates an equality rather than um, uh, being subservient to them. There are other indications that there would be an equality, and one is in Acts chapter 15, when the Gentiles are given the Holy Spirit apart from the laying on of hands by the Jews or by the apostles, demonstrating and just as Peter said in Acts 11, inasmuch as God gave them the gift as he did to us. All right. So this is going to be real fast. Take five. All right. Um, basically, Acts 15 is talking about the Pharisees coming in, you know, um, coming to the Gentiles and wanting to put the yoke of, um, yoke of bondage on their necks, basically to keep it up uh, uh, um, the laws that are taught in the Torah. All right. So when you go down to uh, verse 10 of Acts 15 on the right, now, therefore, why tempt ye God to put a yoke upon the neck of the disciples, which neither our fathers nor we were able to bear. So most people look at this as the, these disciples as the Gentiles. Okay. And then when you look at the international version on the right, it says, now then, why do you try to test God by putting on the necks of Gentiles a yoke that neither we nor our fathers um, nor our ancestors have been able to bear? Okay, so basically these, uh, these disciples are the same devout Jews that came on... Um, the, 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 that that um, the devout Jews reverenced in Acts 2. And then there's other um, verses throughout Acts that tells you that the disciples are those um, same devout Jews. Okay, so basically, the devout Jews who are, who are basically Jews in Acts 15 are being called Gentiles. And I challenge anybody that listens that disagrees to um to to claim otherwise because right here you see in in 10 that the disciples are considered gentiles okay so these are the people that the pharisees wanted to keep the laws the israelites that weren't circumcised okay so if you're not circumcised in the flesh, then you are uncircumcised. You are the uncircumcision, even if you are an Israelite. Because if you were raised in countries and it wasn't customary to be circumcised and you took on the ways of those other cu um, countries, then guess what? You are uncircumcised amongst the circumcision. So these guys just cut themselves so much and don't even get it. G-Checker signing off. Take five. Shalom.